All right, here I have the VDB-AL1 VAW. It's a smart video doorbell. And I have already taken out the camera doorbell device and then the USB. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place it like so. And then slide it over and then lift to remove this piece. Put it to the side. And we're going to use just to do the first configuration. We're going to use the micro USB connection here. And we're going to use the supplied cable. Once you connect it, we're going to go ahead and install the software. All right, so I have the device blinking red. And then I have my manual on this side. I'm going to go ahead and cover my QR code. And then I'm just going to put my finger over the Android side. And as you can see, the App Store pops up. Download the application. Then we will launch the application clicking open then here it's going to ask you if you want to do notifications let's go ahead and say yes so we click allow going through all the menus it's going to tell you how you can utilize the application with your new product click start it's going to go ahead and highlight click add device and then click add device and here it's going to tell you if it's flashing. So let's go ahead and select it, that it, it is flashing red. And then let's go ahead and select our Wi-Fi to the Wi-Fi that the, the device is actually creating, which is called 2C underscore. Enter interface settings. Click on Wi-Fi. Click on 2C. Go back to the application, click on next, choose your Wi-Fi, input your Wi-Fi password, <coughs> give the device a password, I'm just going to put admin, the demonstration. And then I'm going to give it demo smart video. Doorbell. And then click complete. Once you've done that, the device is going to go ahead and blink blue. And then you can select the blue icon. It's going to go ahead and connect. Once it connects, you can see the video doorbell. The video doorbell. You can speak. You have to allow the microphone access. You have to allow the microphone okay. access. Click OK. Hello? 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 I'm getting a little, getting a little feedback, feedback from the, from the uh, device being too close. And you, and have, you have some settings on the top, right, top right corner here. Go ahead Let's go ahead and give it the password. admin password, which is admin for my case. And here you can make a lot of changes. You can set your ringtone volume, the video length that you want to record your videos on, the intercom volume, and other settings as well. You can set it to full screen. You can set it to full screen. Also do playback. You can also do playback, volume. change your volume, and uh, do a screenshot if you want. And uh, do a screenshot if you want. Click OK. Go Click OK. Send that Let's go ahead and send that devices. screenshot to your device's camera roll. Camera roll. And then you can manual record. And then you can manual record. And that's how you would 
operate and that's how you would way. operate the other way. So going back, we'll disconnect, and then the top left corner, you'll see your messages, your files, your videos. You can play back the video and everything you want to know about the product. You can go into general and you can enable push notifications, set up your mobile network notification and then check your applications version. And that's how you set up your new smart video doorbell.